home, now let's get it on What's that? Let's slide All right All right And we gon' get it on tonight You smoke I smoke I drink Me too Well good Cause we gon' get it out tonight Got drops Got drops All right Cause we gon' take a ride tonight So my What's that? Let's slide All right And we gon' get it I got, I got a girl My ex wanna holler and spit Told me to acknowledge it quick She like man, stop fronting On that Dave Hoster tip Come over, let's swallow and sip I'm like, mama's sick, I promise you dick Usually have a problem with chicks, why? They all say I'm riding and rich, but not her Will be real, high heel do be feel Plus got them Gucci wheels, yeah You a cutie still I miss my down girl too, ain't no groupie deal We left the movies with Uzi, Suzuki wheels To the jacuzzi, I tell you my boobies real, yeah I mean she do be winning, Louis spinning Go to the crib, she got the Gucci linen I see Booby grinning. She looked and said, Nash, I know that you'll be sinning. Nah, I'm a changed man. Look at the range, man. I got a whole new game plan. Looked and said, That's nothing but game, Nash. She was right, she was up in the range, man. Dropped her off at the L, now I'm flipping the cell. That's right, I had to call up L. Yo, L. What else? I hit. What else? Plus, no. Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome Sunday afternoon. Um, today I'm basically going to talk about blasting fat and fat loss. So these are tips that worked for me in the past and that are working for me right now because I actually did put on some fat during the Christmas break. I came back from traveling and I just, everything was just going into my mouth. I just, everything tastes so good around Christmas as well. The weather is always rubbish, so I just go straight to food, go straight into the cupboard, and eat whatever the hell I want. So, this January, I'm back on track, but I thought I'd show you and share with you some of my tips on how I get leaner. If you wanna see some of my meals, I do put them on Instagram stories and on Snapchat, so you guys can follow me on there, um, if you want to, of course. The first thing that I find makes a huge difference is nutrition it matters how many calories you put in versus how many calories you put out but also it matters what you eat in terms of what diet i'd recommend what i wouldn't recommend is a fad diet all of the newspapers right now have the diet that is working for this particular journalist that is writing an article i it breaks my heart because Yes, some of those fad diets will work, you will lose weight really quickly, but you won't keep it off. If you want to become healthier, you need to make it part of your lifestyle. So with that, my diet involves a lot of whole clean foods, a little bit like the paleo diet, but the paleo diet emits really important starchy carbohydrates that allow me to train. So I add those in. So I add some oats, I add some rice, I add some uh, bulgur wheat, quinoa, every, loads of grains that will keep me fueled um, because they're, they're good starchy carbohydrates. And to be honest guys, if this is a lifestyle and you want to make the changes, that I also add some chocolate and some days I'll have a cheat day, yes. Just make sure that you're balanced and flexible over a long period of time. Don't get caught up in things that will get you lean in like two weeks because the likelihood is that you will lose muscle and fat um, but put it all back on as fat and the muscle will not come back as quickly. So, the first thing is nutrition. Make sure you get that on point. Now, the rest of all of the tips are to do pretty much with training. I think the best training for fat loss is actually incorporating a range of different workout styles and routines. So that involves cardio, that involves strength training, that involves bodybuilding, it also involves metabolic resistance training, so that's high intensity functional workouts, like the functional workout that I did in another video, um, that kind of training. Because you want to make sure that you're never going to kind of reach a plateau, you always want to push your body and shock it so that it burns fat more effectively. Okay, so if you are a cardio lover, it's probably likely that you have become very fuel efficient. So it will take less energy for you to perform the same activity. My tip would be to 
try and get stronger because as you get stronger you're always operating at your limit so you're always pushing yourself and you actually become well in that process you are fuel inefficient so you shock your body every single time and that's just going to increase your fat loss by working on your strength and by going to the gym you're also going to be building muscle and having more lean muscle mass in your body will increase the number of calories that you burn every single day another tip that I'd suggest is to try and incorporate some form of post training so once you've finished your weightlifting I would mix it up between doing some cardio and some high intensity. High intensity has been shown to increase the number of calories you burn after you work out, whereas cardio will just burn the calories whilst you're working out. Also, I like high intensity because it only lasts like 10 to 15 minutes. So it's very, very quick, it's over and done with. If you are pressed for time, high intensity is definitely the way to go. As well as scheduling your training wisely in terms of making sure you're not going to be training the same thing twice, I'd also make sure that you rotate your training methods. So do some, do a strength training program and then switch it up with a metabolic resistance training program where you're doing a very high pace, low rest times, um, moderate weights, um, and then switch that up with some low volume strength and conditioning and just keep rotating it so that your body never reaches a plateau you always want to make sure that you're keeping your body on its toes so that it keeps being fuel inefficient and you keep burning fat and I'd say the last thing is because this is a lifestyle try and make it something that you really enjoy try and go out go for a run go play tennis go do some rock climbing just keep it as um, fun and as vibrant as possible. Fat loss is um, is important, but it's not the be or end all. You need to stay happy, you need to stay focused, and you need to enjoy your training because if it's a lifestyle, this is hopefully something that is gonna stick with you and be part of your every day, every week routine. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I really, really appreciate all of your support, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.